The following contest is scheduled for one fall, making his way to the ring. From St. Louis, Missouri, weighing in at 250 pounds, the Viper, Randy Orton. As we get ready for singles action, I'd like to remind everyone you can see matches like this and more on the WWE Network. You only get one chance to make a good first impression when this entrance is doing just that. for this match. Oh, you can cut the tension with a knife. Big match for him here tonight. Superstar gets a certain feeling when he knows there's a strong possibility he may exit the match in a completely different condition than he entered. That's not exactly a comforting thought when it's your career. Well, if you like offense, you're going to get it in this one. The greatest sports entertainment in the world. But hey, when Triple H is in the house, you know what you're going to get. One of the greatest to ever live, and here we go. Let me remind everybody, there are no countouts. These competitors can stay out here as long as they like. Look at that cold gaze of the Viper. What must he be thinking in this match? Definitely looking confident in this one-on-one -on -one environment. That's a good sign. Oh, Orton is so at home here in that WWE ring. And that implement connects again. How many more chair shots can they take? Say what? 
what you will about Randy Orton. And most people have plenty to say, but there can be no doubt that he is one of the most ruthless performers in WWE. Oh, forget about ruthless, Michael. I'd go so far as to call him merciless. I mean, when we see the Viper get that demented grin on his face and an opponent in a vulnerable position, we know that things are bound to get a little nasty. Oh my God, what a chair shot. This is a level of destruction no one was expecting. I certainly didn't expect to see this kind of damage. And if we're going to talk nasty when it comes to Randy Orton, I'll never forget the night on Raw when the Apex Predator gave The Miz one of the worst beatdowns I've ever seen right in front of Miz's parents. That was downright cool, but Randy seemed to enjoy every last minute of it. Nice reversal by Orton. Yeah, that's because he saw that one coming a mile away. Wow! If he keeps this up, this could be over quick. He's delivering an old-fashioned butt-kicking right here. He may never walk the same after that backbreaker. And here comes Rand, and now Randy Orton could have this match in the bag. Oh, man, he's got to figure out a way to counterattack here. Well, King, just like you said, the cruelty factor is always high in a Randy Orton match. The Apex Predator hears voices, and I'm not sure what they're saying to him, but I know they're not telling him to play nice in the sandbox. As far as signature finishing moves go in the WWE, Randy Orton's RKO gets a lot of attention, and rightfully so. But his running punt kick to an opponent's head deserves its share of attention, too. Because that move is every bit as brutal and bone crunching as the RKO. That may be the first time we've seen that executed. seeing here from Randy Orton. Well, King, you definitely have a point there. Of course I do. The RKO might be the better known of Orton's finishers, but the Apex Predator's punt kick has ended plenty of matches by itself. Right. I know we've both seen him use it countless times, and it's rare an opponent can recover from it. Randy's running punt kick is just devastating. Right. It's a finisher that's not used to just take you down. It's used to take you out. I mean, the Viper is looking to do a massive amount of damage when he plants that kick to Triple H. Goes to cover, and there's the kick out. And just in time. Nice. That move should do it. I mean, this should have been over a while ago. Come on, ref. Yeah, this should be over. Really pushing his opponent to the limit here. The quick reversal there by Randy Orton. He's sending a message to the entire WWE locker room here. More. How much more are you willing to pay to win this match? This is unreal. Both of these competitors have so much resolve, it's going to take a minor miracle to keep one of them down. It all started in 1988 when SummerSlam emanated from New York City. And that was a huge counter. Man, he just got nailed. Michael, I think Triple H is injured. Could this be it for the King of Kings? I didn't think this could get any worse. After this match, it all looked like they were in a fight. It will look like they were hit by a car. Did you see that? Did you hear that? It seems that someone is very comfortable using a weapon against an opponent. Look at this! And all KO! Out of nowhere! Ow! And he goes for the cover! This is it! Two! Three! And you can... Here's your win!
winners, the Viper, Randy Orton. Big pinfall victory here tonight. Hey, we've all lost matches, right? Now it's just a matter of how fast Triple H can overcome this loss. Believe me, it can be done. What a match that was, ladies and gentlemen. Thanks for joining us.